27 mm f 2.8 RWR is Fujifilm's smallest lens ever made. This lens is so tiny, that's why it's called a pancake lens. If you take off the lens caps, this is how, how the lens looks like. This is actually insane. It's so tiny. And whenever you put it on a body like an XE3, it looks like an X100 series camera. It's just so small. One of the biggest selling points of this lens is the size. I would say that's the biggest selling point because this lens is just so tiny. Just look at this. So this is how the lens looks like, the 27mm, and this is how it looks like compared to the 35mm 1.4. I mean, this difference is just pretty ridiculous in my opinion. It is actually crazy. So this lens has autofocus, but the Mark II version also has weather sealing. It has these gaskets here. So, I mean, that's a big upgrade from the Mark I version. It also has this aperture ring, which you can just adjust like that and it locks on the A and if you want to change your aperture you just push this button and you can just change your aperture like that so um yeah the opening is also very tiny because it's an f2.8 so it lets in like it doesn't let in a ton of light so um yeah if you compare the opening to the f1.4 from the 35 mil Look at that difference. It has a filter thread size of 39 millimeters. And um, yeah, WR, it's weather resistant. Very nice. This is how this setup, the XE3 with a 27 millimeter looks like compared to an X100T. They're basically the same size. They are basically the same size, the X100T is a little bit slimmer, but yeah, it's just such a tiny setup, with, especially with a rangefinder body, like an XE series camera or maybe an X Pro. It's just pretty ridiculous. This is a perfect setup for um, people who like street photography or just people that like to take a camera everywhere uh, where they go someone like me because I always take a camera if I'm leaving my house so this just fits perfectly in my pocket it's so great I also want to make a video on this XE3 because it's amazing it pairs well with the lens and um, yeah it's just a ridiculously good setup for a any photographer so these days, the X100 cameras are very expensive, especially, um, I mean, every one of them. So if you are too broke to get an X100 series camera, you could get a used XE2 or 3 um, and get a used 27mm f2.8 and just get this amazing setup. This is like a mini X106 in my opinion. Especially if you if you have an XE4, but um, yeah, this is just like an X106 ripoff, I would say, and it just yeah, almost the same image quality, or maybe an X100V, I would say, because the X106 has like a 40 megapixel sensor. So um, yeah, it, this is a great setup, a great setup for everyone. So this lens, this is the Mark II of the 27 millimeter. The Mark I version has a pretty loud autofocus motor and this one unfortunately also has the same motor so I will show you um, I will let you hear the sound I will take some uh, or I will turn the camera on and just listen to this It's pretty loud and it has a steppy motor. It, there's no like linear motor in this lens because it's so small. I mean, where would that motor fit in? 
you know so the motor in it is pretty loud but it's mainly a problem whenever you're inside because um, whenever you're outside you have this ambient noise with the wind and people so outside it's not really a big issue but inside it can be a little bit difficult and also there's a lot of um, folks hunting especially if you're an AFC like I am right now I will turn it to S but in C mode there is a lot of hunting so be careful for that because it will lose a lot of focus especially in video so this is not a great video lens in my opinion you could use it for video but um, this is mainly for me uh, a photography lens so if you're looking for a X100V or 6 ripoff I would say or a cheaper version of that you could get this setup for I mean I bought this camera for 500 euros and this lens for 350 euros so that's like the this whole setup is like the price of an X100F and I mean this setup is way better in my opinion because you can change the lenses of this body so that's a big uh, upside so yeah get this lens if you're looking for a very portable uh, lens for your camera it doesn't really matter what type of camera but I would recommend this lens on a rangefinder camera like the XE version or the X-Pro version cameras and um, yeah it's just very great to bring it with you everywhere you go so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you like this lens and um, let me know if you own this lens and let, let me know your opinion on this lens I really like it especially the um, the uh, what's it called aperture ring and um, yeah, the big dislikes are the autofocus motor. And yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, and I will see you in the next video.